Okay. So. Can you hear me now? Yes. Good. Uh, let me, okay, now you see my slide in full screen. Am I right? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Shia. Okay. Also, I also hear you. Okay. Uh, this is the first uh, lecture in Research Night 2021. We should thanks to the sponsor, the University of Nova Volta, University of Maribor, and the others. Um, I, I'm, today, I want to speak about the problem solving and decision making. Uh, my name is Hashem. I'm from the Center for Information Technology and Applied Mathematics. Uh, University of Nova Gorica. Okay, uh, in, in the first step, uh, when we say that problem solving, uh, we should know what we exactly, what uh, do we exactly uh, talk about? Uh, so what, what does it mean when uh, I say we have a problem, we encounter a problem? Uh, in glossary, it, it was written that um, the official uh, meaning of problem, a matter or situation regarded as unwelcome or harmful and needed to be deal with and overcome. This is the official uh, definition of problem. But in my mind and in my um, speak uh, today, the problem is when you <clears throat> know your current situation and you know what is your desired situation. So there is two uh, points. One is a desired situation, one is current situation. But you know, you don't know how you can get from the current situation to the desired situation. You are facing a problem. Uh, I'm sure that uh, many of the students in the school um, spend some time and uh, do some activity regarding the problem solving. So I don't want to um, deal with this uh, issue with the problem too much. And I want to uh, speak much more about it. You know, one of the most important part of the problem solving, which called it the decision making. <clears throat> so uh, with the second definition of problem that I, uh, uh, you can see it in the or below the official definition. The problem can be everything. It can be a very simple problem, like for example, in the for the breakfast, what which which uh, food is better for me, a, do, a donut, chocolate donut or a milk with some cereal. It, this is one problem which is not very important and not impact our life, but uh, there are for sure, for any person from any country, from any religion, with any uh, kind of, uh, let's say, lifestyle, there are some problems which is very important, very, very important, like uh, select the career, select the profession, select the, or choosing the partner, choosing the home, and something like this. So I want to cover all kinds of problems in my speech today. Uh, so we, we can imagine different kinds of problem and try to solve it. Uh, the first step that, uh, the first slide, let's say, uh, is the process of the problem solving that I'm sure you are familiar with it a little. The first and the second step is define the problem and analyze the problem, which is, in my, uh, in my opinion, they are very important part of the problem solving. Uh, the second is establish the criteria, consider the possible solution, and uh, the step number five, which is uh, I want to speak more about this step, decision on a solution. And then at uh, step six, uh, implement the solution and then follow up the solution. But um, maybe you know that uh, define and analyze the problem is very important because uh, as much as 
uh, as much as you analyze the problem, you have much more data in your hand, in your mind. And when you have much more data, you can analyze the problem much better. And at the end, you, you will find a good solution for your problem. Uh, let's uh, go to the next slide and uh, where the Albert Einstein, very uh, famous uh, science, said that if I have uh, an hour to solve the problem, I would spend 55 minutes thinking about the problem and just five minutes thinking about the solution. So uh, it means that um, it shows that it's a very important to define and analyze our problem. And in order to analyze our problem, we should, um, uh, of course, we should, um, we have many different techniques like six hat. Maybe in future, I, I will have another seminar about the six hat of thinking. And also uh, states the problem is specifically underlying the main reason, facts and possibility. And in this case, as you can see in this slide, uh, six WH question, what, why, when, where, who, how this problem started, how it's going, how, when it become very uh, in a critical point and something like this question help you to gather more data. And as I told you, more data helps you to have a good solution. Without more data, you, you cannot find the best solution for your problem. And uh, in the next step, identi identify the important standard and expectation. Expectation um, is different from the reality, but uh, we should be logical and think about all expectation and reality in the good way. And avoid trying to solve the problem without data. This is uh, uh, all included in a step one and two. I mean, define and analyze the problem. And as I told you, I don't want to waste the time much more in this step. So uh, after uh, define and analyze the problem, we, we go to the third step, genera generate all possible solutions. Consider multiple alternatives can significant uh, significantly enhance value of your solution. So as I told you, more data um, specifically enhance uh, your decision, your, your um, in, intent to uh, help you to have a good decision on you. But what is the, um, there is a one big mistake here for every person uh, in all over the world, as, I, as far as I know that, uh, if you don't analyze and define your problem very well, and if you don't think about the uh, all possible solution very well, then the first acceptable so solution can be, the, um, can be your choice, and it's not good. So I mean that, uh, the first acceptable solution is not necessarily the best one. This is one of the solution. Okay, so let's keep it and think about the other solution, uh, other acceptable solution. So uh, be aware about the first acceptable solution is not necessarily the best one. So we should postpone the selection of one solution and brainstorm of, on all solutions to find uh, many alternatives, then uh, we can select between the one of these alternatives. Okay, and uh, in a step four, we, we should evaluate the solution, evaluate solution relate, relate, solution related to your target, evaluate all solution without bias. This is also very important. We should be honest to each other, to, to ourselves, sorry, we should be honest to ourselves and evaluate the solution without any bias and evaluate all possible solution. And um, um, we should know that, as I told you again, uh, the expectation and the reality are different from each other. So we should evaluate all possible solution and state the selected solution explicitly. Okay, these are very quick review about the first second, third, and fourth step in uh, solving a problem. But 
let me go to the choice. And um, <clears throat> in order to uh, select the good choice, we have uh, in, in a step five, I mean the decision making, we have two options here. I want to speak about the decision making as I uh, mentioned you in the, in, in, in the first, uh, in the beginning of my speech. Uh, when I want to make a decision between the solution that I have in my hand, I face a two kind. I face two kinds of decision. One is easy choices, and the second is hard choices. In easy choice, uh, one alternative is better than the other one. So, uh, for example, if the problem is uh, which kind of breakfast is better for me, then one. Uh, alternative can be better than the other one by thinking a little and find the solution. But this is not very important problem in our life. Uh, another important uh, problem, some, some problem in our life, uh, we have hard choices. In hard choices, one alternative is better in some way than other alternative is better in another way or neither better than the other overall. Uh, it is a mistake to think that in hard choices, one alternative really better than the other. Or all alternatives are in a good, um, are in a good level. So we should, we should try to select the less risky option. This is the, the key that you should try to select the less risky option. If you put all choices uh, side by side with full information, the choice is still be hard in a hard choices. Hard choices are, are hard, uh, not because of us or our ignorance. They are hard because they, there is no best option. Uh, so, but uh, this kind of hard choices help the human in order to find uh, themselves much better. Hard choices can uncover a hidden power each of, each of us possesses. Okay. Uh, if all, if uh, the all alternatives are equally good, there is no best option. It cannot be true because if all alternatives are equally good, uh, you can flip a coin between the alternatives. But if you look at, uh, look at the very successful person, people in the world, uh, they are not get success by flip a coin, for sure. They think about the problem very well. So it is, it is another mistake to think uh, that we can choose by cone our partner, our profession and uh, other important choice. Let's look at two examples. I want to explain my uh, idea with two examples. Suppose we choose, uh, we have to choose one of the one of these jobs. Uh, one of these jobs. One is uh, inv investment banker. Another is graphic artist. Uh, and imagine that uh, you like these two jobs you like both of these jobs and uh, in the same level, neither better than the other in any case. But what is, your, what is your choice? What should we do in order to find which one is better for us? Now let's improve one of them a bit and uh, suppose that your manager adds 500 euro to your salary after one year, I don't know, or, or maybe one month. Then, uh, does this extra money make your banking job better than the artist one? Not necessarily. A higher, uh, let's say, payment or salary makes the banking job better than uh, the artist. Uh, and better the banking job as it was before. But in, uh, it might not be, uh, it might uh, not be enough to be a banker better than the artist. So if an improvement in one option, in one choice, doesn't make it better than the other, 
what should we do? So we have, for example, two choices. Uh, neither one is better than the other, and nor uh, improvement in one job make it better than the other. So it's like a puzzle. If we got two jobs, neither is better than the other, nor they are equally good. So what what supposed to, to do? Uh, here, mathematics helps us. Yeah, and I want to use some mathematics uh, relation to explain uh, what should we do in this case and what's my idea in this case. You know that some uh, something in the world, some abstract uh, concept in the world cannot be measured with uh, numbers. For example, justice, beauty, kindness. We cannot uh, say that this person is kindness for two, that person is kindness for three. But uh, the number can help us in, in compare of justice of two persons, okay? So let me explain my idea much better with one example. Suppose that we have a problem. The problem is which uh, profession and which uh, measure is good for me, uh, for my future. And after the brainstorm and get, uh, gather all data and uh, define and analyze this problem, at the end, I reach to four final, uh, four final uh, choice. One is love, the second is med medicine, the, the third is mathematics, and the fourth is electrical engineering. These choices, uh, are completely equal for me. I mean that in some way, some of them is better in uh, with another criteria, other is better. And I really don't know which one is the best option. So it's a hard choice. Then if you look at the second column, uh, I wrote some criteria that is very important for me. This criteria came from the first and second step, I mean the define and analyze the problem. So the most important criteria for me in order to uh, find which one is better is interest, future job, family, money, community, acceptance, talent, labor market, excitement of work. Now, I wrote it in a table like this, the first row and the second column, but uh, why the first column is empty. I put it empty for the coefficient. The coefficient uh, can be looked at here. I, I give to each criteria one number between, uh, let's say the interval should be not bigger than 0 0.7 to 1.3. It can be less than this, for example, 0 0.8 to 1.2, but um, try to not make it bigger than 0 0.7 to 1.3. Why? Because uh, each criteria can multiple with number. This number can be one. Uh, look at the third criteria family. It means that uh, when I uh, multiply a number with one, the result is not changed. It's the uh, same number. And if the coefficient is a little bigger than one, for example, 1.1, 1, 1, 1. 1, 1. 1.2, 1.3, 1. make it a little bigger than one, than the previous number. For example, 20 point, uh, 20 multiplication with 1.1, 1. 1, uh, it's uh, 21, okay? And uh, less than one means that this criteria is not uh, very important like the family or future job or interest. For example, uh, I, sh I should say that all the table um, arranged only by my criteria. So you can do it in your way. So now each coefficient should be like this as I wrote it here for myself. Uh, as I recommend you, it's, it's better the interval between 0 0.7 to 1.2, not very large uh, interval for the coefficient. Then I will give 
the number between zero to 20 to each of the criteria for each final choice. For example, if you look at here, uh, for law, the interest of me from zero to 20 is 12, for mat uh, medicine is 16, uh, for mathematics 19, and for electrical engineering is 17. And the coefficient of interest, for me, it's a very important that my field uh, is the field that I like it. So interest is very important criteria for me. So I give it 1.3. And I'm thinking about the future job, the future job of law who is uh, working in uh, justice, uh, justice center and something. It's not very uh, interested for me. As a physician uh, working in hospital is not very interesting for me. So uh, I give uh, the law 15, the medicine 17, but as a mathematician, I should I can be a teacher or professor in the university, which is my desire, one of my desire work in the world. So I give it 20 and electrical engineering, for example, working in some company, some famous company can be uh, very interested for me. So I give 80, uh, 18 to this uh, criteria and uh, the coefficient of future job is 1.1 because it's important for me that uh, my knowledge leads me to which kind of the job. The family means uh, what is my father, my mother, my brother, my sister, my uh, wife uh, comment about my uh, future field. Uh, it's important because they are my family, they are, I should respect them, but the importance of their comments is I give it the coefficient one. And the fourth one is money. The fourth criteria is money. For, for me, myself, it's not very important like the interest of future job. And even it's not important like the family, but of course it's important because without money, we cannot live. So I give it uh, 0 0.8, the coefficient 0 0.8. And for law, I know that the salary is much better than the mathematicians or uh, a, a person who works as an engineer in company. So the uh, grade for the law is 19, for medicine is 19, for mathematician is 80, and for the electrical engineering is 80. And other criteria you can see, uh, in my mind, talent is very important. Labor market for me is not very important because I believe that if you are a good mathematician, if you are a good uh, in any job, if you are very good, then for sure you will find uh, a good uh, profession, a good work. So I mean that uh, I believe that a good teacher is much better than a um, moderate physician, okay? So if you can be a good composer uh, or compositor or uh, I don't know, musician, it's much better than if you be a not good or weak physician. So, uh, and excitement of work for me is very important. So in this case, we can give the number between zero to 20 to each uh, final choice and a coefficient uh, to each criteria. Then. At the end, we can make a sum. For example, for mathematics, uh, 19 times 1.3 plus 20 times 1.1, 17 times 1 plus 8 uh, times 0 0.8, and so on. And at the end, I got 157. And similarly, I calculate for the other uh, fields. For example, law, medicine, mathematics, electrical engineering, and you can see at the last row that the sum uh, is, although they are very near to each other, but I believe that in this case, I can be sure that mathematics for me uh, is the best option. And I explained that uh, in hard choices, it's a very difficult to understand which choice is the best because all the choices have 
some uh, profit in some case, some benefit in some case, and the other is better uh, in other case. So they are like a puzzle. You don't know which one is better for you. But uh, with this uh, with this manner, which I called it uh, qu quantity of quali uh, quality, quantity of quality, let's say something like this, we can uh, devote each uh, uh, final choice, a coefficient for each criteria. And in this case, we can, in, uh, mathematics helps us to uh, have a compare with these choice much better. And after we find the final solution, we should follow up the solution, implement a pilot test and choose a solution uh, with the gathering feedback. Uh, it's, a, it's also important that when uh, we reach uh, to the final solution, and when we understand which solution is better than the other, uh, we should think about it. Seek acceptance or uh, consequence of the chosen solution. Uh, we should think uh, if uh, evaluate long-term result based on final solution. What happened if I do it? What happened if I don't do it? And uh, I do the other solution. So. Again, as I told you before, the first acceptance uh, solution is not the best. And we should think about it too much. And um, I think it's a very clear that, um, let's say, problem solving is very important in our life because we are the other author of our life. So we should uh, decide about the problem related to our life. Uh, consulting is very important. We should consult with our family, with the experts, but the final solution uh, should be done by you for your life. Because uh, as I told you, uh, we are the author, author of our life. So um, we are like a boat in a very, uh, very deep ocean and uh, the problem solving uh, helps us to guide our boat and without the problem solving uh, the the oh let's say the ocean or the wind decide which uh, which direction you should go it's not good and um, i myself have uh, an experience that if uh, we don't uh, find a good solution for our problem, the nature will uh, find a solution for our problem. And the nature is not very kind with us, with every people, so on time. So another point that on time, we should uh, think about the problem and think about the solution of the problem. And uh, uh, at the end, I should uh, say thank you for your attention. And if there is any problem and any question or idea or comment, I am very uh, interested to hear it. Thank you very much.